Weavers in Libya have been producing colorful fabrics for hundreds of years. While new trends come and go, these handmade fabrics continue to play an important role in Libyan tradition. They are worn on special occasions such as weddings and religious holidays. But today, these artisans say their craft faces fierce competition from fabricating clothes imported from abroad and sold at a much cheaper price. 1945, I started this craft, making robes for men and women, for which I use wool and silk. Weaver Jamal Mohammed, who works with Mohammed, is concerned about the difficulties his profession faces and says he feels that the government isn't doing enough to help the industry. I wouldn't want my children to inherit this because nobody cares about it. And unfortunately, if the government give it more attention, I might just pass the business on to them. But the state doesn't care about this kind of work and traditional crafts. Although the weavers say their industry is in crisis, local sellers of traditional clothes say they still prefer to source their items locally, saying the quality is superior to those imported. Of course, most of these things are made from India. Most of these are made in India, of course, and a few other things are imported from Dubai. But as far as the women's garments are concerned, they are made here. All of the raw materials are from China and Italy. China scene. Despite a flourishing private industry, Libya's supermarkets are still filled with goods from Italy, Austria, France and Turkey. With their pockets full from state allowances, Libyans are feeling a consumer boom. Shopping in Tripoli branches of British stores like Marks and Spencer, Nexton Beach as Sunan CCTV.